This is a little story about retirees Bob and Barbara, South Australians who have kept their hands busy for many years making miniature things. Bob's here working with his train set that he has created in HO scale and uh, for many years Barbara has been working with doll's houses and making miniaturising furniture and things that go into doll's houses. And all the little houses up the top for them, in a, they're a, in a kit there. Yeah. Mm. All my sheep and my horses and This one, cows. you can buy the fluid, put it in and it makes smoke. <laughs> <laughs> it only bought cheap trains for the top. The form is a bit dear. I can't afford the others. <laughs> what about sound effects? Does it have a horn anywhere? No, not on this one. I've got to learn the electrical side of it to sort of change its tracks and things like that. Oh, yeah, I can see Barb's had her hand in here too. Yes, yes. She done a lot of work. The landscaping. Put, put the trees here. Oh, there's a fine drink going on there. Oh, I've it, that sort of thing. You didn't put any Christmas decorations up, Bob. <laughs> no. <laughs> You've got to be yeah. careful. These sheep here, they might fall not, in there. So we put you've got to around. ask questions like, how do you get the car up there and how do they get out of that house there? You got to On say, the back road. Yeah, the that's back right. Road. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's surprising when people look at it and say, how do you get there? The first one I know they had roads and all the buildings in the town like in the middle. Beautiful, isn't it? Then I kicked my buildings and it's mm. a bit expensive. You know there's about eight hundred dollars worth of trees here. Just trees. I Just it. trees. Oh, I believe it. Trees. How many dollars worth of train? Oh, no, this wasn't too bad, the train. We meant to see a cheaper one, you know. Right. Oh, I like this train. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. It pulls the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the you don't get many carriages. See, I picked that one up cheap somewhere, so I know. If they're too long, when they're going around the bend, they tend to pull off. Yes, or pull the, the carriage behind yeah. off. Yeah, yeah it's all. And they're on 12 volts, aren't they? Yeah. What's the name of the train set? What's it called? HO gauge or? HO. HO gauge. Yeah. Well, is that much to learn? You're going to do in, but then you have to change everything. The next one. I want to do more mount. This next one with less. I want them to go underneath and across and one big uh, viaducts and things like that. I'm getting a bit yeah. blurry in now. <laughs> you know what this is? Boxes well, of foam, you get your vegetables in it, veg out. Oh, is it really? Styrene stuff. Styrene stuff. Yeah. A free material. Yes. I haven't paid for any material, have I? I this, yeah. It's the very door. I have the vacuum here and when I finish I'm vacuuming it all up. How long did it take you to build it? Oh, this one was about six months, wasn't I? But I only do it when I feel like it. Good. Creative time? Yeah. yeah. It only keeps the mind active. Yeah. yeah. I think we've got these for about $30 or something. Well, and all of those buildings up there, they're kind of kept on this one. But they come in lots of millions of little bits. <laughs> yeah, you press them out and make them. Look at all the little pieces you've got to do too. Have you done that? This one, the hardest one, that's plastic. Yeah, I think those are plastic. All the windows. 
instead of buying glass to go for dinner. And there's people on the station here. Brett sent it on eBay and got me 90 or 100 or something for about $5. Mm -hmm. And they're in a packet here for five and it takes about eight dollars for five. Mm -hmm. So it pays to go on eBay. Is the doll's house open? You want to go? Mm. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't, huh? It lives down. Oh, it's the one that comes down. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm putting on camera. Bob and Barbara have always worked as a team. Bob makes the buildings to Barbara's uh, specifications and then Barbara furnishes them, fits them out with all the wonderful miniaturised decorations. She's been an expert in miniaturisation for many years and many people enjoy her work and many of Bob's doll's houses have been uh, shared with other people, sold and some given away all over South Australia. They're a wonderful example of what teamwork can do in retirement.